Hi, welcome to Ontario Out of Doors. I'm Lasha. I'm going to show you how to make an antler shed trap. Um, there's some really neat, out, neat ideas out there. Uh, one's made of uh, wood, uh, metal, um, different uh, uh, hay bales with binder twine. And uh, I just took a bit of a take on that, um, something a little more economical and also really easy to set up in the bush something uh, with the materials that just will fit in your backpack and you can go. So this is as, uh, as easy as it gets. It's just um, some rope and some bungee cords and that's all I really need. Um, it's nice and portable, economical. Um, these materials really didn't cost me much. And I can just put it into my backpack and then I can go to set up my trap. Okay, I found my spot. Um, there's a nice little deer trail along here. Um, it's a little bit earlier in the season, so I'm going to set this up um, so that the deer can kind of get used to it. I found uh, some nice, straight, sturdy trees, these, uh, these three ashes here, um, which I think is a good little area to make my, uh, my antler shed trap. Um, so each, each um, area is going to be about a meter, so I have about yeah three meters. I've tied a loop at the end, that's going to make it much easier for me to tie in between the trees, as you'll see. And I'm going to do about two ropes per side, so one at the top, one at the bottom. All I'm going to do is tie this through as tight as I can. Times, and then tie it back onto itself and you can use like I use a bit of a, a hitch knot so I can also undo it after and tighten it I can tighten that I can I can kind of loosen that as I'm gonna need because sometimes throughout the year you might want to be checking this and it might be a little bit loose just because of the rain and this and the Sun so I can come over and tighten it. So I've had the ropes up. This is gonna look kind of strange at first, but uh, the key thing is that for, for each two poles, I have a rope up here, um, and I have one down here, and this is where I'm gonna put my, my bungee cords. So here's my bungees. Um, again, I didn't get super expensive ones because I'm not tying down any major loads. And I'm just gonna hook them on at certain increments along these ropes. Along the way. And the key thing is is about why I'm using these bungee cords and they're not is because they're not going to be fastened permanently on here. Because what you want is them to have the option of popping off so that if the deer gets its head caught in here for whatever reason, these will just pop off. Hopefully leaving the antler behind, but um, it won't be a harm uh, to the deer. Okay, and then I have the uh, antler shed trap. It's all set up with the bungees and the ropes and everything's adjustable. And so what I'm gonna do is um, a few months beforehand, uh, it's, it's gonna be a while yet before the deer are gonna be dropping their antlers, but I want them to get used to this. Um, so I'm just going to keep it baited for a bit. Um, in the beginning of the year, you can take the bungees off um, when it's not antler drop time yet so that um, they can still be eating and getting used to eating in here, but they're not going to be bothered by the bungees. And then once um, antler drop time comes, put these bungees on. They're going to be used to this. And what they're going to do is put their head in here the way a deer would feed kind of to the side go to eat those apples and the hope is is that as they turn to put their head out quickly this antler is going to kind of get caught on these loose bungees but not so much that if the antler isn't ready to come off it will get tangled and if the antler is loose enough it will drop off into the antler shed trap and you can come along and you can kind of see what kind of deer are in your yard.